what's so funny, we go through this with every year with LeBron James. You know, what's it been seven, eight straight years to the Eastern Conference Final going on eight or nine or something like that. This your boy CJ Goodfellow with the Boston Clinic and more. We do more than boxing and y'all know this by now. And uh, it's the same thing. Everybody riding LeBron James nutsack, you know, because of the regular season and how weak the Eastern Conference is. You know, they never bring that up, you know, uh, during this little run. Oh, he should be MVP every year. He's in the weakest conference ever. I have never seen a conference this week in any of the, ma- in the major sports, you know, no competition, you know. And, um, oh, he don't need Kyrie and all this. And then the stretch that they, that they the winning streak they was on before, it ended. It was versus like so many sorry teams, and the best team that had beat during the stretch was the Detroit Pistons, who's now on a five or six game loser streak. You know, they always look at his numbers, say, "Oh, you know, LeBron is doing great." And I'm not being a hater here. I'm just bringing facts. But when when Iron go to that ass, and it comes June, and he getting beat again for a championship by Golden State, all the excuses start flowing out. Or other people say, "Oh, he ain't good as we thought he was." Oh, you know, LeBron needs more help. Now, this is what these guys were saying. Oh, they bought Derrick Rose in. They bought D-Wade in. They got all these guys. Isaiah Thomas is going to say it today. This, this team was built to beat Golden State. They do it every year, build this guy up. Doing the same thing with James Harden. Oh, look at the numbers he's doing. But they quick to forget that James Harden got put out, what, what was it, game six? Versus San Antonio Spurs without Kawhi Leonard. And LaMarcus Aldridge wasn't even playing at the, at, at the highest level he's playing right now last year. You feel me? You know, and they 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 talk, oh LeBron is great. And then when it goes to playoffs, oh LeBron is great. When it gets to the finals, what happened? What happened? If if Cavs was in the in the Western Conference final, they wouldn't be the fifth seed, bro. They'd barely be the fifth seed, if that. You know, it's the reason why LeBron's standing in the Eastern Conference, and I'm sick of it every year. It's pumping this guy up. And then, you know, and then they act like they can't believe the epic downfall when they lose in the finals. You feel me? You know, they wanna oh, you know, uh, you know, Kevin Love ain't do this and he ain't do that. At the end of the day, this dude is one of the most overrated players that I've ever seen. I'm not saying overrated as far as he ain't top five or top ten a lot. I mean, as far as people can't see the lack of versatility that he does have. He has no game without the basketball. Without the basketball, LeBron James, he ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. That's why Kyrie left because he couldn't, he couldn't even dribble the rock three times up the court for the most part. Unless it was time to close the game out or unless LeBron wasn't playing. Without the LeBron has no versatility without the ball. He can't play without the ball. And let's keep it real. A lot of people are not going to agree with me with that because y'all LeBron fan lovers, but that's factual. He needs the ball to be effective. Jordan always needs the ball to be effective because Jordan can Jordan can lock somebody down in the defensive end. You know, Jordan can be a decoy. He can go to the other side of the court. He can spot up and shoot from mid range. He can spot up and shoot for three. You know, later in his, later in his career. You know, LeBron. Mm-mm. He need the ball. He want to run it. He want to be the coach, the GM, part owner, and the star player. He want control. And once he can't control something, then he feels like he got to pack. He got to get his ball and leave, similar to what Levar Ball does with his sons. And when when stuff don't go his way, and when he can't control the situation, but all I'm saying is, you, hey, we didn't see how this story in the last two years or the last year or whatever it was, you know. And if for Draymond Green, if they didn't suspend Draymond Green and, and, and the NBA didn't play God and suspend Draymond Green in the finals, you know, they, I mean, Golden State could have won, what, four straight? You know what I'm saying? You see in baseball, the guy did the racial slur by making the, the, the Chinese eyes of the Chinese player or whatever it was last year. Did they suspend him? And that's worse than punching somebody in the balls, you know, you know, and being racist. He was being racist. Did they suspend him? For the MLB uh, World Series, absolutely not. He got suspended for the next year. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh, he got this many texts, and you know we got suspend, you know, suspend him for the for the NBA final for a game. You think that was LeBron James? They would have pulled him out the finals like that. Let's keep it real. The NBA wants LeBron to, to win championships and stuff of that nature, you know, whatever reason it, it may be. But if he ain't earning, he ain't earning. He in the weakest conference. Of course, he gonna do the. He gonna be doing the Watusi and doing the steak and doing the two step and jitting through the Eastern Conference. Nobody there. Ain't nobody there. You know, put him in the West and see if he see if he make it to the Western Conference Final. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. This dude has zero diff, diff, uh, difficulty. Ah, difficulty <laughs> in the East, and he bought out in the finals for show last year. He did. But when it came when it came winning time, like the Reggie Miller uh, thirty for thirty, what would he do? He had Andre Iguodala with him, who had five fouls. 
he drives to the basket and dishes it to Kyle Corver in the corner. People are like, whoa, Michael Jordan did it. The difference is Michael Jordan was a champion, won multiple championships already. The difference was Steve Kerr made the shot. The difference was Kyle Corver didn't make the shot. Period. The difference was we seen Jordan on Byron Russell probably push off and do the step back and shoot the, and shoot the J and, and sell the deal in Utah. Have we seen LeBron do that? People say, well, he blocked him. But we have, or did Kyrie close that championship for him, or was it Ray Allen that helped seal that champ? Or was help him on his way to seal that championship versus San Antonio? So that's the difference. But he can't be everything. But all I'm saying is, stop making the same redundant story and putting this dude on a pedestal when we already know the outcome that he gonna lose in the finals regardless. We know. You a fool to believe Cleveland lose your money again? Cleveland gonna be Golden State. We gonna.